in a world shrouded in ancient mysteries and hidden truths. There lies an enigmatic artifact that has captured the imagination of scholars and seekers of knowledge for millennia. Archaeologists have recently unearthed a 3,000-year-old Bible, a treasure trove of astonishing secrets that challenge the very essence of our human existence. Join us on an extraordinary journey beyond time itself as we delve into the heart of this ancient text and uncover its chilling secrets about our existence. Welcome back, fellow truth seekers. Today, we embark on a quest to unravel the mysteries concealed within the pages of a 3,000-year-old Bible. This ancient relic, distinct from the familiar narratives we've grown up with, challenges the conventional beliefs about Jesus and his fate on the cross. But what is this enigmatic text, and why is it not a part of the Bible as we know it today? This ancient document, penned by Saint Barnabas, an ally of Apostle Paul, recently came to light in a most unexpected way. A band of antiquities thieves, attempting to smuggle the Bible along with priceless treasures, found themselves caught red-handed. Crafted from animal hide, each page of this precious document bears the weight of history. Inscribed with intricate handwriting that defies replication. Its estimated value was a staggering $20 million. But what makes this Bible truly fascinating is its language, Syak, the native tongue of Jesus. Some speculate its age ranges from 15,000 to 2,000 years, possibly even older. The cryptic verses preserved on these pages invite us to reconsider the narratives etched in history. According to the Gospel of Barnabas, it throws a curveball in the biblical tale, claiming it was actually Judas on the cross, not Jesus. This ancient text takes the biblical narrative and gives it a radical twist that challenges the very core of our beliefs. According to this extraordinary account, it posits a remarkable alternative scenario. It suggests that it was Judas, not Jesus, who was crucified on the cross. In this alternate universe presented by the Gospel of Barnabas, Jesus is not depicted as the divine Son of God, but rather as an exceptionally gifted prophet entrusted with the sacred task of delivering God's messages to humanity. This stark departure from traditional Christian doctrine raises profound questions about the nature of Jesus, his role in God's plan, and the implications for the Christian faith. Moreover, the Gospel of Barnabas doesn't stop at rewriting the story of Jesus. It also casts Apostle Paul, a central figure in the early Christian church, in a controversial light. In this text, Paul is labeled as an imposter, challenging the authenticity of his teachings and contributions to Christianity as we know it today. This revelation shakes the foundation of Pauline theology, and calls into question the legitimacy of his epistles in the New Testament. One of the most intriguing aspects of the Gospel of Barnabas is not just its content but its history. It was intentionally excluded from the canonical Bible by the early church councils. The motives behind this exclusion have been a subject of much debate and speculation. Some researchers propose a compelling theory. The Gospel of Barnabas was omitted from the Bible because it failed to provide an account of Saint Barnabas' death, making him the only saint without a death story in the canon. This omission may have raised concerns among early church leaders. As the deaths of saints and apostles were often regarded as significant events in Christian tradition. The absence of this crucial narrative detail in the Gospel of Barnabas could have been seen as a deviation from established practices, leading to its exclusion from the official canon. The Vatican, with its vast apostolic archive, has always been a magnet for those intrigued by its detailed history. Yet, there are parts they don't teach us about, old scriptures and the Vatican's secret stash of hidden knowledge. The Bible, as we know it today, is a mix of different writings, and millions of people believe its sacred truth. Written by Moses and others around 1000 BC. But here's the twist. The original version had more books than the ones on our shelves today. Fourteen texts were part of the original deal, and their absence raises curiosity about what the churches might be keeping under wraps. Now. Let's take a closer look at the intriguing realm of demonic possession. It's a topic that has garnered attention from religious scholars within both the Vatican and Anglican traditions. These scholars have come together, recognizing the prevalence of demonic possession in contemporary society. This acknowledgement is significant because it sheds light on the continued relevance of ancient beliefs and the challenges they pose to modern faith. These religious scholars issue warnings about the perils associated with spiritual abuse a concern that has become increasingly prominent in the discussion surrounding demonic possession. 
They emphasize the urgent need for individuals involved in the practice of exorcism to undergo rigorous training. This training is essential to ensure that those attempting to confront and combat demonic forces are well prepared for the spiritual battles they may encounter. Among the individuals on the front lines of this battle are exorcists like Father Dino from Sicily and Father Collins of Ireland. These dedicated clergy members have witnessed a remarkable surge in demand for their guidance and services. People from all walks of life seek their assistance in dealing with what they perceive as encounters with demonic forces. The resurgence of interest in exorcism and spiritual warfare raises questions about the nature of evil and the enduring belief in supernatural forces. It also highlights the ongoing relevance of age-old practices and rituals in the face of modern challenges and spiritual dilemmas. The work of exorcists like Father Dino and Father Collins is a testament to the enduring power of faith and the enduring fascination with the mysterious and unexplained aspects of the spiritual realm. But what if I told you that there's another gospel that challenges our understanding of Christianity? Enter the Gospel of Thomas, a compilation of 114 statements attributed to Jesus. Some of these sayings are like remixes of the New Testament, while others are entirely unique. The Gospel of Thomas suggests that the Kingdom of God isn't some far-off concept but something within and around us. Accessible through secret knowledge or, Gnosis. As we wrap up our journey through the enigmatic world of ancient texts and hidden truths, we can't help but wonder about the Gospel of Thomas, the Gospel of Barnabas, and the Book of Enoch. Why are they not part of the traditional Bible? What secrets might they hold, and how do they challenge our understanding of Christianity and our place in the universe? Join us next time as we continue to explore the mysteries of our world, seeking knowledge that may reshape our perception of history and spirituality. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit that notification bell so you never miss an episode of our channel. Until then, keep seeking the truth, fellow adventurers.